Welcome to Top Questions Answered. In this short wildlife documentary, we will learn what Tasmanian devils are, where they live, what they eat, and how they help humans. How many survive a life and death race, and if Tasmanian milk can save people, what prevented them from going extinct, and how endangered they still are. What are Tasmanian devils, and where do they live? Tasmanian devils are an endangered species of small, unusual marsupials related to koalas and kangaroos. They weigh 5 to 14 kilograms and have large heads in comparison to their bodies. They are rare to see in the wild and spend their days out of sight hiding in bushes, hollow logs, caves and old wombat burrows. The best habitat for them to live in would be eucalyptus forests, woodlands, coastal scrubland and agricultural areas. They were once only found in Tasmania, but a small breeding population has recently been reintroduced to New South Wales in Australia. What do they eat and how does this help humans? Tasmanian devils are nocturnal and use their sharp sense of hearing and smell to locate their prey. They mainly scavenge on carrion, but are quite capable of hunting their own live prey, such as mammals, reptiles, insects and birds. They have the strongest bites of any mammal their size and are the largest surviving carnivorous marsupial. They eat most of a carcass including the bones with teeth that never stop growing. Tasmanian devils are generally solitary but do come together around abandoned carcasses. The dinner time meetings are a noisy affair where lots of screeching and growling takes place. Like all marsupials, Tasmanian devils store fat in their tails and can draw nutrients and energy from this reserve when food is scarce. These small carnivores are nicknamed bush vacuum cleaners. They travel up to 16 kilometers per night to feed and keep their habitat free from old carcasses, which is a good thing because rotting carcasses are the perfect breeding ground for diseases that are harmful or deadly to humans and sheep. How many imps survive the race that determines life or death? After 21 days of pregnancy, a mother Tasmanian devil gives birth to about 50 undeveloped imps in one litter. They are the size of a grain of rice and only 4 of them have a chance to survive. Can you guess why? They must use their sharp little claws to race from the birth canal to the finish line inside the mother's rear facing pouch. It is a distance of about 3 inches, but all is not as simple as it sounds. Inside the pouch, there is no checkered flag awaiting their victory. Instead, there are only 4 teats and none of the imps believe in sharing. The lucky 4 to reach their goal latch onto a teat and don't let go for approximately 100 days. The losers become mum's dinner. During their time in the pouch, they grow quickly and while still attached to a teat, they are often seen being dragged along beneath the mother as she travels. When they are about 4 months old, they travel on their mother's back or get stashed in a den to keep them safe while she is out hunting. The young ones are usually weaned and independent by 10 months old. Can Tasmanian Devil Milk Help to Save Humans? Imps grown in their mother's pouch require milk that helps develop their immune system. Scientists and researchers have found that Tasmanian devil milk contains 6 peptides that have the ability to help fight and kill bacteria and fungi that are deadly superbugs to infected humans. About 1 in 3 people carry MRSA in their noses. Most times, it is generally harmless but can turn into a death sentence if it enters the bloodstream. The peptides also manage to kill a strain of pathogen that is resistant to the world's most powerful antibiotic, vancomycin. Research is still in the early stages and more time for development is needed before tests can move beyond lab dishes. What prevented Tasmanian devils from going extinct? Numerous Tasmanian devil fossils have been found on mainland Australia. It is believed that they were completely wiped out in that area about 3000 years ago due to becoming prey to their top predator, the dingo. Or was the extinction because of humans? This debate still opens a can of worms. 
Some say when dingoes initially spread through the mainland, they were faster, smarter, and more versatile than these marsupials. Others are convinced that humans are the culprits. Hunting and gathering skills improved during that same time, and as a result, humans were no longer nomadic. They chose to rather settle in one specific area as their populations grew. Setting fire to drought-adapted landscapes rapidly converted them to the deserts we see today. Species that could adapt survived, and those that could not became extinct. Luckily, the Tasmanian devils that chose Tasmania as their home instead of mainland Australia were not affected as dingoes are not present in Tasmania. Are they still endangered? Tasmanian devils living in Tasmania may have been spared from mainland dingoes and humans, but they did not get off scot-free. Their survival of the fittest test was dished out during the early 1990s in the form of facial tumour disease, which is highly contagious amongst Tasmanian devils. The cancerous lumps that break out on their faces are fatal. Tumours form in their mouth, which prevents them from eating and causes them to starve to death. They were listed as endangered in 2008, and by the end of 2021, 90% of Tasmanian devil populations lost their lives to this unrelating disease. There is no cure yet, and scientists are working really hard to ensuring the remaining 10% do not go extinct.